Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read. And uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hi there, Scorpio. So right away, I'm gonna get a little bit of a message out to you guys right now, and then I'm gonna go to the cards, but right away, revolution. So this could be very uncomfortable for some of you. Uh, any tests that you have not, I, I, again, I don't like using the word test, but in our human minds, this is just how we see things. Anything that we haven't fully healed or come to realize or what have you, I think 2021 is going to start off like that, where it's kind of helping you see the last remnants of something that needs to be put to rest. The positive side of this, though, is that you'll know exactly what to do to put it to rest. And for some of you, it's about taking a healthier approach to your power and standing strong and saying, no, I've already told you 10 times, we're not doing this. And when people don't respond well to that and they want to come fighting you, you don't engage, right? And I know that could be really, really hard because we as Scorpios, <laughs> we're all about uh, transforming. And so... I think there can be a pattern with some Scorpios where we want to look at something, we want to dissect it, we want to crack it open, um, but you're realizing this year, especially in the beginning here, where it's not my job. It's not my job. That's not mine, that's yours, take it back, kind of thing. So this is revolutionary for you because maybe it has always been, depending on who you are, maybe it's always been your re reaction to go stinging someone or to fight back, to win and all of that. And this is your chance, depending on how you want to approach this, to release that need and to Okay, there is the Serpent Mound in Peeble, Ohio. Peebles, Ohio or Peeble, Ohio? The Serpent Mount. Look it up. I just got that vision in my head. And it does have this sense of wisdom and curiosity and exploration. Mystery. Sure. <laughs> sure, we could go with that. It's kind of stereotypical for a Scorpio, I suppose. But um, there's a winding. And if you try to go too fast through this winding pattern, what's going to happen? You're going to trip. You're going to fall. But if you can kind of, and I'm not saying that people are going to be slithering and all this. I'm not, that's not the message here. The message is there are going to be twists and turns and you're just learning to keep your eyes on the road and keep yourself happy and healthy. And you're just kind of following what's going on. And that is going to be revolutionary for a lot of you because you are the one that wants to leap over the whole thing <laughs> right? and not, you just want to get to the conclusion. You don't want to go through all this like windy nonsense, right? But the windy quote unquote nonsense will be the very thing that teaches you exactly what you need to learn this year. This can be a great time of a deep message. Yes. So that could be a deep message coming to you that kind of opens things up and you are a sudden realization, however you like to look at that. Um, or it could be you coming through something and saying, Hey guys, I can help you out with this because I've been there. Right. So again, it's going to differ for everybody, but just see what that feels like. Okay. So let's get you some cards. There's a card coming out right there. Uh, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. What this is, is your personal approach to circumstances. Are you somebody, again, who tries to leap to the conclusion before you go through the journey? Are you somebody who tries to shut down an argument because you don't want to hear what the other side has to say? You just simply are not there. You're like, no, <laughs> this is a personal issue. Okay. So your approach gets healed. Yes. This could mean too, like things that have been pretty outstanding for you in your life that you're always like, oh my gosh, I just, I'm ready to be out of debt. Could this be the year that you get out of debt? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Definitely. But you have to work towards it, right? Like you have to figure out what uh, holds you up from that before you can go through it. So there are things like that that are coming to a conclusion. But it's mostly, again, because of your shifting and your willingness or unwillingness to go down an old road. Okay. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Yes. On, on a, if I can hold up the card here. Hi. <laughs> look at the bigger picture. Uh, to me, for all of you out there, it feels like look at the soul growth that comes from everything you are experiencing. Okay. For some of you out there, you might feel like I can't catch a break. Every time I turn around, there's something to worry about. Is there something to worry about? Yeah, there's a situation right in front of me. Okay, but what can you do with that situation? Does it have to overtake you? That is your power. That's what you're learning this year. So, that's interesting. I was about to pull out a card and I definitely felt like that wasn't it. Okay, I'll just go with it. All right, be bold to make the first move. Uh, Cardinal Moon, this means make the first move towards your own shifting. Yes. So being bold, the boldest thing that you can do is look at yourself and be honest. What needs to change? What needs to shift? What, what are those old patterns? Do they serve me or is it time to move on? You know, this sort of thing. And when it comes to opportunities this year, our lives are going to a place where that doesn't really matter anymore. That's still very surface level. It's still important. We're still human. We still want to feel like we're contributing something every day. But you will see as years go on, we're moving further and further away from that and more onto what is good for the soul. So being bold and making the first move could have something to do with admitting a hard truth to yourself and then taking actions to go through that. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So things will get to where they need to go. But remember what we said before, there's this windy kind of journey that goes on. So it could be that you might get it in your head. Okay, I think I want to have this happen by this date. And then it doesn't happen. Well, how easy is it to start throwing a fit about that, <laughs> right? My life isn't going the way I want. Therefore, I'm angry. Therefore, I want to take it out on people and so on and so on. So just slow and steady going with the flow of the twists and turns. This is where your power will be, okay? And then for your color card, I have them right here. Dun, dun, dun. Mauve, enjoy clear hearing. 43 reduces to 7, so there's lots of support going on here. Um, this is more about a soul growth kind of year for all of you. And yes, there could be nice things happening on the surface. There could be success for you this year. Again, paying off debt, you know, um, maybe fall in love if you've been looking to fall in love, but the, it's kind of not the point. <laughs> the point is that you're getting your messages. You're getting those messages that could really release you. There's some deeper understanding going on here. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.